of the Addison on Amelia Island. So the innkeepers, Lisa and Ron, have owned this since 2017, and the place is pristine. The attention to detail, the cleanliness, it's like everything is in place, everything is perfectly taken care of. So you kind of get the best of both. You get the old, you know, historic home, but you get kind of the details and amenities and um, perfection of a new building. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, really a beautiful property. Yeah, beautiful property. So we, we recommend it. We didn't get to stay here this time, but we will definitely be back and we'll, we'll show you, um, we'll show you the inside of this one, but we'll stay here next time as well. Yeah. All right. Family and friends, they would bring some card tables in here. And when we, when the moving day arrived, of course, we shoved everything in here that we didn't know what we were going to do with sure. it. And once we got everything situated and saw one, the size of the room, yes. the most important and coveted feature of uh, this is the, not only the size of the bathroom, yeah. But a walk-in shower. Yes. Oh my word, yes. Because we have so many guests that can no longer climb in those jetted tubs. I, I know, right? Yeah. It's true. We have so this, family that stay with us now that have quite the same thing. A coveted um, room. The room one is also has a walk-in shower but does not have the tub. And, um, I love the way you've done these places because there's, you know, they're traditional and everything, but they also feel very clean and modern and everything. Well, Shannon, that. the owner before yeah. us, her tagline was, we're a doily three in. <laughs> oh, and believe me, there are pictures <laughs> of dust ruffles <laughs> and what's the, the border that you would have? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, right. I remember those. Yep. Like that. There's some pictures, and there's actually some guests that remember one of the rooms out in the courtyard had um, two beds in it. Yeah. In this building, mm -hmm. The four king rooms have fireplaces. Okay. And then the queen room that's upstairs does not. Um, and these look like operational gas. They are. We finally found somebody that would come and um, assess them and make sure we could turn them on. That's a huge, actually. Yeah. We, that's we a wonderful feature. Our, one of the guys that did service these, he passed away from COVID. He was an extremely large mm -hmm. man. And so when we were mm -hmm. getting this ready, he got down on the floor and my was <laughs> Okay. Uh, what are we going to do? I mean, he was a good 400 pounds. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> right. All we have here. But um, that's great. I think that's a pop up right now on our website. If you go to the website, it'll yeah. Take you to the... So when they added these, this building is queen rooms. Okay. So there's two up and two down. Nice. And two of them have porches on the Ash Street side. Oh, nice. And then the yeah. other two have the little bistro table. And then this building is all king rooms two down and three up awesome. what we don't understand is why the one upstairs has the walk-in shower so <laughs> had we done it oh, that would have been sure. the walk-in shower oh for yeah sure because there is a ramp we don't claim to be ada compliant yeah. not at all but there is a ramp from the driveway ah. that you can come up and we have had a young lady that was in a chair that she was able to swing in. We have a, a shower seat. Yeah, yeah. And she was able to swing into the yeah. with help from her husband. Yeah. We definitely don't claim oh, yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't be, think about that. Yeah, yeah. why upstairs? I mean, what? <laughs> Boy, we're from Clearwater Beach. This has just been freezing for us. This is nuts. And the and kids are on spring break this week. I know. Poor <laughs> things. And no beach time for them. Well, <laughs> I think um, Friday and Saturday it's supposed to go up in the 80s. We have young ladies. Yes, it is supposed to warm up. High school students. So there's our brochure. Thank you. Perfect. And then high school student and I said, Steph, I want to see you Saturday with a tan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> cute. <laughs> Poor thing. I said, nothing like being home and being cold. Friday. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Oh, you got more people coming. So we're walking downtown Fernandina Street. Um, this is the city and it's really cool. There's a lot of shops. You can see there's a lot of people here. This is on a Sunday. There's a lot of women's stores. So it's a great way to spend the afternoon um, just seeing what's available. Let's go this way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh? So this is the downtown area of Fernandina. Yeah. Amelia Island. I still haven't figured that one out yet. Is it a, it's the town is it of, both? Yeah, Amelia Island is the name of the town and Fernandina is the name of the I'm sorry, for Amelia is the name of the island and Fernandina is the name of the town. 
And on our history tour today, they're going to explain why. Aha. But I know that's why, why already. We, that's why we take that's right. history tours. That's so we know we the answers to these so you will know complicated the <laughs> questions that I always have yeah. and cannot answer. Yeah. So anyways, we're looking at the downtown area. Very quaint, very cool. Yes. And this isn't even the bustling area yet. No. So we're here at the marina and this is in Fernandina. And this is where you can actually go rent um, boats to go fishing and stuff when you're sailing. And it's, it's all right here. It's like, yeah, right at the end of Main Street and maybe five blocks from the hotel was in. So we're now coming up to the waterfront. And apparently, the shrimping industry was actually started here on Amelia Island. And they were saying that they were exporting or, or sending out 10 million pounds of shrimp a year out of here. Yeah, I think that was the number. Yeah. It was a crazy, like 10 million pounds of shrimp number. out of these waters. So this was the place where the shrimp, shrimping industry started. We're arriving at Fort Clinch State Park. Visitor Center in Amelia Island. Okay, so headed to the fort. Mm -hmm. First, you go to the visitor center, come out of the visitor center, and then they they um, send you across to this is the museum. Yeah. And this is General Duncan Lamont Clinch. That's what he's named after. So that's why they call it Clinch. I thought they clinched the war here or something. All right, now that we're done with the museum, we're headed over to the fort itself. It's a great sign. Imagine you're stepping into the past. The year is 1864 and the Civil War is in progress. Ahead of you is a masonry fort under construction. Union soldiers are involved in the building of the fort. Ask them questions. Oh, this is oh. the prison. Oh, yeah, we saw that, that on the video. Yeah. That's right. So this is the prison. So the guys who were drunk and disorderly or stole something would be here. The guys who were disrespectful or to an officer, officer or, or something. something were there. And the guys who were really, really bad were in solitary confinement naked here. And they all had to wear ball and chain, which I don't think they've got any in here ball and chain, and they had to wear a sign around their neck which said what they did. Dr oh, there's the signs. There's the signs, yeah. Drunkard, thief. <laughs> well, this must be living quarters. Yep, this would be their barracks. With backgammon. They played backgammon back they then. They played games. Yeah. I don't know what the back doors do. This is where their rifles would be kept. Oh, yeah. Can we get out here? Nope. Can you get this in your pocket though? So I can keep my hands warm. Interesting. Yep. Very the barracks. Is that what they call this? The barracks? Yeah. So they were so what we heard is they got twelve pounds twelve pounds of straw a month for their beds and they would fluff them up and re them so that they to would keep the bed bugs to out. keep the bed bugs out. So are these full of straw? Oh, that would be so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh yeah, with a fireplace. 
Wow. This, this would have been intricate. officers' quarters. Oh, yeah. They have a whole eating area, officers' mess, uncomfortable chairs. I forget what they have made the chairs. But they got chairs. They got chairs, I guess. Gail's got chairs. Yeah. Ooh. And this would have been for their guns and stuff. Very cool. Mm hmm. Look at the old light. Yep, candles. This is very well preserved. Well, that's right. Everybody got three candles, three candles a week. A week. It's warm in here. Warmer. Yeah. Warmer. Oh yeah, the storeroom. And they kept everything. Oh yeah. He must have been the quartermaster. He would have been the guy who distributed all the goods and everything and kept track of the goods and what they got and inventory and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Very cool. Oh. Next. Oh, now they said they got the brick, by the way, from... New York? And Philadelphia. And Philadelphia. But I wonder where they got all this granite from. Yeah. That's granite. And look at how they split on the, this must have been the, the World War II thing, maybe. Uh-huh. Oh, and they have some of the, what do they call that, the stone? Tabby, no, not tabby, it's the Tabby Tabby's man-made, Kokino, yeah. Kokino. Kokino. Stone. But they didn't make this board out of Kokino like the. Nope. Look at these things. Not very square. Uh, probably a lot of wear on them too. Yeah. Who knows what they look like when they first came out of the foundries. Yeah. Let's go see. Hey, look at the ones that are in the, that are in are fairly square. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are, yeah. Fire going. Oh, yes. you got the place. Oh. 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 oh, yay. Let them a share. Come. You not cold? You're hot? Where are you, where are you from? Oh. See, we're from Florida. Yes, Floridians. Clearwater Beach. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I can see why these fireplaces were important back in the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs>